Welcome back guys, uh, Tradecraft Trading here, and it's Tuesday, uh, January 22nd, 2019, and um, two trades today I wanted to show you, as well as a couple of charts uh, for new day traders. If you're looking to get into day trading, I'm going to try and show you what I look for. I've been doing it for about two years now, um, full time, so uh, I'm kind of new to it, relatively, so I, so I can... Um, kind of show you what it is that uh, I look for um, low risk trades basically but uh, first I want to show you the trade I had of the day that did not do what I wanted to do it was a trade I never should have gotten into because I violated a couple of rules but um, this is HCNP and you can see uh, this showed up on I can't remember which scan this was I think it was a, a VWAP scan uh, it's messy this is very messy it's not ideal but I did like that it was above VWAP and then it was it was jumping, but there was no volume. So I violated a rule that I take that has to have more volume than than, than um, just a little. And this is it was trading at below its normal volume here. Um, so I got in here um, looking for it to basically get to yesterday's close. 2185 was the close, and hopefully breaking through that. And if you look on the daily candle chart here, I was hoping for it to get back up to this level up here because um, I had gap down and I put my stop way too close uh, I put it above VWAP actually and that was stupid uh, and you can see it kind of whipped me out and then it kind of started going up a little so if I had just didn't I shouldn't have gotten into this trade at all but if I had um, thought a little bit more clearly I would have put my stop much further down below VWAP because you can see it comes down to view app and then it goes back up comes down you see this little pivot point and then goes back up a little so it's using it as support and i just put my stop right there and i got i got just whipped out um it might not get up to the level that i was hoping for 2193 ish to the 22 area but if i had put a wider stop i'd still be in it and i could probably just get out with a tiny profit so that was bad because these candles are ugly and i just i just did not like that but i just i it wasn't even fear of missing out that they always talk about. This is just, just a dumb trade. So um, didn't didn't take a huge loss. I took a small position size, but then I made up for it with Harley Davidson. So I got into this trade. This actually showed up on my. Um, actually, I don't have it open right now. Maybe I should pop that up. It showed up on a a scan that I use where thing where uh, stocks show up when they're they're about to bust through view app after having been down on the day, which you can see here. It was. Um, it had gone down on the day and then it was working its way back up and I think I got alerted here um, but this is where you have to adapt your trading because you can't say oh, okay this this doesn't look like it's gonna do it so it doesn't look like it's gonna hold view up because it fell down here but what what happened was it fell below view up again so this could have made hey maybe it's gonna continue going down so then you look at this and you see okay once it got to here this little doji is what tipped me off it's a little topping tail doji you see what happened here in this five minute candle the uh, it opens five minute candle at 36.78. It tried to push up a view app. You see that little tail? It couldn't, and it closed at 36.78, right where it started. What was the next candle? It was a down candle, right? You see it's going down, a little push up, topping tail doji, and then another down candle. That's why I, I should have probably gotten in right around here, but I waited a little too long and I got in at 36.67. Uh, so not too much, just about seven or eight cents below where I was kind of hoping to get in here. I think I tried to get in here and I couldn't get filled. Um, but this this doji tells you everything. It's trying to get a view app and it's not um, not happening. The sellers are, are in control and then it starts moving down. So I got in here and I was hoping for it to get down to the low of the day, which was um, this 36.35. And that's exactly what I got. So it moved down nice and slow, stayed below view app. Little, not, not too clean, but clean enough. Got down to 36.35 and then since this was the low of the day right here, you can see that 36.35. That's exactly where I got out. So about a 30, what did I get? A 32 cent gain, or short right there. Um, I could have held on, held on to some shares, but I figured this is the low of the day. And then I looked at the yearly chart. See this? This is not, right here. Is a lot of support right here around the 36.30 area. And I just I felt like if it was going to bounce, that's where it was going to happen could have continued down but this is pretty good support right here so I got all, all my shares and it was that was the last trade I needed for the day because it made up for my loss but it went back up you can see it kind of regressed back up 
but then it went back down again. So I'm not sure what it's going to do. You can see on this 15 minute chart, there is a topping tail right here on the 10 EMA. I uh, tried to bust through the 10 EMA and it came back down. So maybe that's a sign it's going to continue down even more. But this is, this is all I really needed right there. That nice little drop, 32 cents. And that made up for the day. Um, so there's a couple other trades that I wanted to see that I didn't, I didn't get it. But they were kind of intriguing to me. I'm going to try and find them for you. Hold on one second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's a TSG. Yeah, so this was another one that went down and it busted through VWAP again on its way back up. And this is where I got alerted right here at 1766. So I almost took this trade and it went all the way up to 1822-ish. So over a 50 cent gain. That would have been nice. Um, didn't end up getting that. I think there's any, there wasn't really that much going on. Uh, everything was down. See, the spike was down today, so there's a lot of, a lot of down short trades. So if you were looking for longs, this was not your day. Um, oh, sig, yeah, this was a good one. So this has been doing poorly as of late. Signet Jewelers gap down a few days ago. Um, had a positive day yesterday, but still kind of down overall. So I wanted to get in here, and I didn't, which was good because it kind of bounced right back. But look what happens after a failed view app again. It goes down, and look, you got this doji again. See a little yellow doji right there below view app. So it came down below view app, tried to get back up. A little topping tail here, a little doji here, and then a down candle. This is where this is where you should have gotten in if you're going to. 24.19, put your stop at about 24.33-ish, like 14 cents. 24.19, look, it goes all the way down to 23.91, breaks through 24 comes back around and then starts dropping again so this would have been a nice little short um not too not too smooth but tight candles um and you got a lot of engulfing candles here bear bearish engulfing to tell you hey it's gonna drop so that could have been something to make worth but uh yeah that was it those two trades one bad trade one good trade and that was it so I will be back tomorrow. Hopefully I have something to show you. Uh, if you have any questions about day trading, again, anything you want to know about how I got into day trading or any, uh, you know, tips on, you know, how, how to start, what to look for, um, definitely paper trade for a while, I would recommend. Um, but yeah, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right. Thanks, guys.